50 year return? How convenient. Maria, a child that got shot, still manages to send Shadow to Earth as we saw in Sonic Adventure 2. And that being said, now that we know how she died, the gun soldiers apparently did nothing to prevent Shadow from being sent to Earth. Wasn't that their main objective, to stop Project Shadow? Or did the soldiers shoot Maria, shrug, said f*** it and leave? That being said, they did capture Shadow on Earth anyway, but how? They never explained it in Adventure 2 or this game, so Shadow could have escaped anyway. Suddenly aliens. And what are you talking about? Don't you just hate when the floor suddenly explodes? If he says he knows the truth about who I am, then like it or not, I have to believe him. No, you don't. The way I'm gonna get the secrets to my past is to get those chaos emeralds. Or, you know, you could have just asked any one of your friends that apparently know you from Sonic Heroes instead of listening to Goku over here. The black aliens have hit. That's racist. Unconfirmed sources have also reported seeing a black hedgehog in Westopolis. Shadow? He never said Shadow. He just said a black hedgehog. Is Shadow the only black hedgehog on Earth, or are you just assuming things? But sir, isn't Shadow on our side? He orders. has a point. He's evil and he's the enemy. Yeah, especially because he saved our lives back in Adventure 2. All points bulletin. Be on the lookout for Shadow, the black hedgehog. No joke, that's racist. You could have just said Shadow the Hedgehog, and I can assure you everyone would know who you're talking about. Orders are capture him. Dead or alive. Out of my way. Why were you just standing there? Coming through. Stop! Don't move, or we'll shoot! He's been moving for a couple of seconds, bro. Now would be a good time to shoot. Wish I could do that in the game. Go and access the United Federation's mainframe. Understand? Got it. Dude, seriously, why are you just listening to someone you don't know? Tell the commanding generals that the United Federation will never surrender to terrorists. America! When did they take this picture? It couldn't have been after Adventure 2, everyone thought Shadow was dead. After Sonic Heroes? The game does take place three months after those events, and you expect me to believe that Shadow never asked anyone about his past in that time? Isn't that Dr. Eggman? Maybe he can tell me about those black creatures. Why would you assume he knows anything about- <sighs> No one gets in my way. Except Sonic. You will be destroyed. So stand clear or I will crush you. Just as I will those black creatures. What's seriously more degrading? Black aliens or black creatures? It seems as if our ground forces have been able to contain the black arms. Black arms? Seriously, how could- Wait, that's what they're called? Okay. Shadow, let me share with you a piece of your past. It's Why a piece? Why not its entirety? The seven chaos emeralds are needed to demonstrate its full power, or tomorrow's prosperity ritual will all be for nothing. Prosperity ritual? Tomorrow? Nothing? All be for? Ark to headquarters! Ark to headquarters! Hold up, we're playing through one of Shadow's memories? So is he remembering this or living it? As of today, this planet is mine. You're crazy. We will not. Now, we will begin to exterminate all of the world's leaders who resist. What? what Back talking doesn't seem like a good idea now, huh? We interrupt these Shadow the Hedgehog cutscenes to bring you a scene from Independence Day. Wait, you expect me to believe that in Sonic Adventure 2, Dr. Eggman was able to blow up half of the moon, the fucking moon, with more or less the same power we see here. But Earth has minor collateral damage. Sir, are you alright? Well, I just got directly shot by a fucking laser cannon from space that destroyed everything in a 10,000 mile radius and I don't have a single scratch on me. So yeah, I'd say so, Commander. No need to worry, sir. Orders were issued yesterday and everyone has been evacuated to the safe zone. You mean to tell me that you evacuated everyone from Central City to a safe zone except for the President of the United Federation? You know, your leader. What oh, assholes! So he's finally decided to show himself. Dude, he was never hiding to begin with. 
We must protect the President and the Chaos Emeralds at all costs! Don't Shadow and Black Doom have most of the Chaos Emeralds at this point? Shadow. I and mean, you can still do the former, but you pretty much already failed on the latter. Shadow, I'm counting on you! I know, Professor. Wait, I don't get it. He's counting on you for what? All that was was a random voice in your head without much context. Plus, you can get this cutscene even when you're helping Black Doom, so by now he must know he's been screwing up, right? You! You're the one who destroyed the Ark and killed everyone on it! There is no way that the Commander doesn't know what happened 50 years ago. We'll get into it later, but he was one of the survivors on the Ark. Didn't he ever find it odd that most of the gun soldiers survived yet others died? You? You what? Sonic. Shadow. What are you gonna do with them? I'm Shadow, the Hedgehog. That doesn't answer Sonic's question. Yeah, well I told you, no one tells me what to do. Which is why you've been doing the exact thing he ordered to since the beginning of the game. Get the Chaos Emeralds. I need these emeralds to uncover the truth about my past. Which is only possible if you do what he told you to. Shadow. This is over yet. Sadly, he's right. Look. That's the... Yes, that's right. The space colony Ark. Fifty years ago. The Ark? Fifty years ago? I thought you didn't remember anything. Mantis Platoon, Heavy Dog reporting in. Primary target and the girl have been located. Acquiring targets. En route to intercept and destroy. What the? Very delayed reaction, Shadow. Please, Shadow. That wasn't in the opening cutscene. Humans, willing to sacrifice their own when overcome by greed. They are a foolish race. Sadly, he's right. Also, what happened to Maria? Was she Doom's eye this entire time? Actually, that would explain a few things. Sir, your transport is ready. We must go now. Sir, please. Dude, wait, you just got here. Give the president some time to react. Shadow, follow them. Make sure they understand their situation. On foot? Okay. This makes five Chaos Emeralds. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, two more and then the truth about my past will be revealed. Shadow can math. Okay, I can hardly understand how Shadow got here. How did you two get here? You? I don't get what the difference between this and the other cutscene is. Sure, different environments and all, but same circumstance and dialogue. Is Shadow just less of a dick now? Shadow? Uh, why? Why are you siding with them? I'm Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form born to protect and serve the Dark Lord, Black Doom. With the power of these Chaos Emeralds, this world will become the Dark Empire. This is who I am. That answer is, believe it or not, less informative than your last one. <laughs> Shadow! I understand why Sonic and the Commander would be on the Black Comet, I just don't get how they got there. In Eggman's case, I don't get how or why he's on the Comet. I need these emeralds to help me uncover my past. They're not going anywhere. Just like this story. How dare you defy me? Why shouldn't he? You tried to assault him. Goodbye, Doctor. Holy shit, did he just kill Eggman? No one tells me what to do. I have my own reasons for collecting the Chaos Emeralds. Really? Care to explain? Because so far, you wouldn't even be doing this if Black Doom hadn't told you to do so. Perhaps Professor Gerald has done more to your memory than I imagined. The Professor? I don't understand his questioning of the Professor. A better question would be, what Professor? Isn't it assumed that Shadow doesn't remember anything? How would he remember the Professor and not Maria? Strange that you don't remember your maker. No, he clearly does if he didn't question who the hell you were talking about. The maker. What'd you say? Not only is Shadow suffering from amnesia, he's also deaf. Poor guy. Whoa. I guess I underestimated his powers. 
Hmm, teleporting. So severe. And also, what do you mean you underestimated his powers? All he did was teleport you somewhere else. You can do that too. Apparently so can everyone else in this universe. I somehow escaped, but was then captured by those humans. But from where? And why? Shadow would be great at CinemaSins. He's not watching a live feed, he's just watching the intro to this game. Those idiots! They're destroying everything! Wait, Sega or the Black Arms? How can I take over the city and build the Eggman Empire if there is no city? Isn't that what you've been trying to do this entire time yourself? Destroy the world so you can build your empire over it? Also, Eggman no longer wants to take over the world, just the city. Baby steps, I guess. Shadow? Android? Am I an android too? Well, you don't look like a mobile device. <laughs> Why would Shadow have a memory of this if he wasn't even there in Sonic Heroes? The pieces are coming together. This ultimate life form they keep referring to is the Black Hedgehog, and he died. And I'm its copy. Dude, ask yourself one thing. If you were an android, why on earth would Eggman program Shadow's memory into you? Even if he could do that, why would he? It wouldn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Also, all the things you just remembered happened during moments where Eggman wasn't even physically present. He could not have done that. I must be the android Dr. Eggman created. Eggman? You mean the politician? Now why would he want to make a shadow android? I didn't collect them to hand them over to you. I collected them to destroy you. I thought you collected them to- <sighs> I am Shadow Android, the ultimate life form, a copy of Shadow the Hedgehog. Why would you want to be a copy of Shadow the Hedgehog? Oh, you meant the character, not the game. Welcome to the next level. Not a sim, but did you know that that line was Sega's slogan in 1991? Seriously, look it up. Look, I don't take orders, especially from you. But I'm not here to fight you, either. I'm collecting the emeralds to find my own answers. That makes absolutely no sense, considering the reason you're going after the emeralds in the first place. Black Bull, I summon you. I see purple and red on that thing. Hardly any black. Woohoo! Now we're talking! Bring it on! Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? See, he puts more emphasis Where's on the word damn, damn but the subtitles say he emphasized the word fourth. Isn't that... Tails? You never said hey. Look at that! It's Eggman's theme park! He made it out of the rings he's taken from around the world. I've got to get those rings back. You just said he made it out of those rings. What are you gonna do, take the whole theme park? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Guess it's what, too soon? Stop bugging him, Tommy! Vector is clearly covering his face, not his mouth. Why is he muffled? I can understand Charmy because he's flying, but how are Vector and Espio doing that? So that's how hackers do it. So, I see you sneaky rats are back again, huh? Back again? When were they ever here? Also, is it just me or does that line remind anyone else of snooping as usual, I see? Damn. Who am I? What am I doing here? Well, I don't know who you are, but you're here to ask Eggman's stupid question that Sonic himself could have easily answered earlier. You have no past. What? Shadow and I had the same reaction. Doctor, please, I need to know. Those androids, the ones that look like me, am I? Yes. What? Shadow and I had the same reaction. He didn't ask you anything yet. Looks like those black creatures are headed out to space. We're on our way to the Ark, so I guess that means we're going too. Wait, what did you say? We're on our way to the Ark, so I guess that means we're going too. We're on our way to the Ark, so I guess that means we're going too? Come on. Impeccable roll. fucking Next logic, stop. Sonic. Come on, let's roll. Next stop, the Ark. You know, the Ark, as opposed to, I don't know, Noah's. Time to rock and roll. You up for this, Shadow? Sonic looks like such a little kid in this scene. Damn it! What does it all mean? My reaction after beating this game. These memories, the Doctor's actions and words, nothing makes sense. Every review of Shadow the Hedgehog ever. Was it real? Everyone else's reaction after beating this game. It's been a long time, Shadow. Who are you? And 
how do you know my name? I know you, Shadow the Hedgehog. You killed everyone I loved. My family, Maria. I've been waiting all my life for this day. What? Me? And Maria? Hate to be a grammar Nazi, but uh, it's Maria and I. Just putting that out there. Maria was like a sister to me. She was the only family I knew. And because of you, she was killed. Oh, the professor created me with Black Doom? You don't fool me. It's not just about Maria. Thanks to you, everyone I knew and loved was killed when the Ark was destroyed. Worst of all, my family. Wait right there. That Justice statement contradicts started. everything you just said. She was like a sister to you, but wasn't your sister yet. She was the only family you knew. You but you just said that it wasn't all about Maria, but she's the most important thing. You never mention anyone else specifically. Plus, Shadow's more concerned with how he was created. He's not even bringing up the subject of Maria at all. Dick. Black Doom. I need to know the truth. Am I the one the humans refer to as the evil one? Tell me. I need to know. It is true. I created you. You are a part of me. That is so not what he asked. I will avenge the victims who died aboard the Ark on that tragic day. So you're going to avenge the humans by killing other humans? I don't quite understand where you're going with this, Shadow. After all, it was Gunn who killed everyone aboard the Ark. Speaking of which, that brings us back to why is this asshole working for Gunn? Like I said earlier, he was one of the people who survived the raid, therefore he should know what happened. He should have known that Maria and Shadow were good friends, thus knowing that Shadow didn't kill anyone. But none of this shit ever happens in Adventure 2, so Shadow probably never even met the commander at all. So where was the commander during the raid? Was he already on Earth? Was he brought back to Earth before the raid? Another thing, these are two kids. Why in the mother of fuck would they be aboard the Ark at all? Sonic X explains why Maria can't go back to Earth, but the games never do. Maria is apparently ill from birth with a very dangerous, very contagious disease which would explain a lot of things like why Project Shadow was being developed and why she can't go back to Earth, but even then, wouldn't the commander be infected as well? I know Shadow can't be because of his immortality, but everyone on the Arch would be infected anyway. Which brings us back to the first sin. Maria is like 12 years old. What kind of a f***ing military shoots a 12 year old? In Sonic X, Maria sacrifices herself for Shadow, which again would make sense, but here we clearly see that that one dude was aiming for Maria. Also, now that I think about it, the United Federation was funding Project Shadow and pulled the plug. Why did Gunn have to kill the researchers? If they feared the project, killed Shadow, not the researchers. It's not like they could have made another one. They would need more funds, which they no longer have. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. A research experiment gone deadly wrong. I've caused so much destruction. I should never have been created. This is who I am. Shit, he's right. Hey, don't go there! Yet, things may not be what they seem. You could be... He could be what? You ungrateful little pest. Have you forgotten that it was my grandfather who created you? What difference does I it make? What? Leave now and never return. Someone watched The Lion King. To Having a little trouble with those gun agents, are we? I know they share the same voice actor, but he sounds more like an evil Sonic as opposed to Shadow in that line. What a pitiful bunch. What'd you say? What difference does it make? He could be referring to the gun agents for all we know. We are not here to exterminate these poor creatures. Yet that's what we've been fucking doing so far. Shadow, you should rest. You need to be ready for tomorrow's ritual. Then call off the Black Bull! A Chaos Emerald? You've gotta be kidding me, guys. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. What a dick. Maria! Okay, here's something I legitimately want to know. In the opening cutscene, all we hear is Maria gets shot and then fade to white. Apparently, it's a censored version of the original cutscene. In the uncensored Maria! version, all that happens is that Maria is slowly falling. Why was that censored if already this is the second time we've seen the same thing happen? Earlier in image form, and now it's animated. What's the difference? Maria. Everyone's fate depends on you. Maria! I'm calling bullshit. Wasn't Maria the one who activated the escape pod with her dying breath? Here she dies seconds Maria. after getting shot. Maybe Shadow's just remembering it wrong, but I'm still sending it. <laughs> oh, I've got to get to that comet. Yeah, but how? 
Shadow, why are you siding with those black creatures? Siding with them? You're joking, right? I'm just siding with whoever goes up against you. What a this dick. Time, just say when. Eh, probably tomorrow when I'm in a better mood. Your rule ends here, and it ends now. So you're behind all this. Like it or not, the game's over. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Symbolic beginning cliche. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. You realize this is the 11th time he said this, right? The truth about my past. All of it. Well done, child. Now, this makes me wonder, what pathway would you have had to take to canonically get here? Not the true hero story, because you would have defeated Black Doom and Sonic would be with you at this point. And not the semi-true hero, because the Diablo and the Commander are nowhere to be seen. What? Their greed, thirst for power, and affinity for betrayal has them on a path of self-destruction. Their actions will lead to extinction of their species. Shit, he's right. This can't be happening, said everyone who watched this cutscene. Those black creatures just warped the comet down to the surface using chaos control. How the f no. do you know that? No, that's impossible. You said it, Rouge. That's why you needed the chaos emeralds. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely, cliche. That can't be! He betrayed his own people for research? For Black Doom? Dude, this is the same guy that reprogrammed the space colony to collide with Earth as revenge for the military killing your cousin. Plus, you realize you've done much worse. Big deal. We can't just stand here doing nothing. Oh yes, you can. You've been doing it the entire game. Back off, you slime balls! Back off, you slime balls! You guys realize they just repeated the audio clips, right? Please help me, Shadow. Maria X Machina. Shadow, you're our only hope now. Also, you left these slime balls here to eat us alive. What a dick. Just who are you? Yeah, who are you? You never really give us a backstory on yourself. I guess it doesn't matter at this point anyway. Okay, two things. One, how did they get up here? And two, why are they up here? Hey, it's working! Really? Because all I see is static. Also, this is the second time they just whack the machine and it starts working. What is this? Why the f are there screens in the black comet if it's transmitting from the Ark? Did Black Doom like Skyping with Gerald every now and then? Why is Gun getting this feed too? I mean, yeah, they worked with the Ark 50 years ago. I thought they shut down all communications with Gun. Or does the Ark work as a satellite and transmit on every device on Earth? Actually, that would explain that exposition at the end of Sonic Adventure 2. Eh, sin it anyway. The government plans to cease all of our research and imprison all who know about you. Yeah, imprison them. Don't kill them. I made a terrible mistake, Shadow. It's all my fault. Making contact with that comet. He has a point. Professor, Professor Gerald? Really? That's your reaction? In 50 years, the Black Comet will return. They plan to harness its powers to destroy this planet. The only way to stop them was to develop a way to use the very power they intended to use against them. That's it! It's brilliant! How are you guys hearing this? So be it. Be prepared to meet your maker. But he already did. Both of them. Wasn't such a good idea to leave the Chaos Emeralds behind, was it, Black Doom?
It's a good thing you didn't miss. I hope he's okay. I'm sure he's fine, Rouge. After all, he is Shadow. Yeah, you know, the guy that fell to Earth last time he used a super form and for some reason didn't combust on his way down or die upon impact of the ground. Also, how the hell did you guys escape? Eggman tells Shadow that they escaped from the comet in the final battle, but he never explains how. Let us pay homage to Professor Gerald. Pay homage? Yeah, sure. Pay homage to the guy that reprogrammed them the space colony to collide with Earth once all seven Chaos Emeralds were collected, thus wiping out all of mankind after you killed his granddaughter. Fucking idiots. Where did he get that picture? Goodbye forever, Shadow the Hedgehog. Also, what does he mean by goodbye forever, Shadow the Hedgehog? It makes sense when Maria and Sonic's had an adventure too, but Shadow comes back in subsequent games. Or is he talking about this game? Because if so, then yeah, thank God. You're going straight to hell!